Item number SCP-1781 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures The roadway leading to SCP-1781 has been blocked off near State Road. A perimeter fence has been constructed around SCP-1781 and is to be patrolled nightly. Any individuals who breach the fence are to be contained, administered a Class A amnestic, and turned over to the Police Department. Description. SCP-1781 is a drive-in movie theater located south of Indiana, along State Road. The theater consists of a dirt parking lot, a concrete projector booth, a large screen, and a sign near the entrance labeled Moonlight Theater. During daylight hours, SCP-1781 exhibits no anomalous properties. The projector booth can be entered and contains a standard movie projector used in similar theaters. Footnote. Dated to 1988. Every other night at dusk, SCP-1781 will activate. The door to the projector booth will close if it is open and the parking lot lights will dim if they are lit. The projector within the booth will then begin playing a random film. Thus far, there appears to be no restrictions on the genre or length of film shown. During this time, the projector booth door and window cannot be opened. The selected film will run for its duration and upon ending, SCP-1781 will deactivate, causing previously dim lights to return to full luminescence and the projector booth to become accessible once again. Individuals within the projection booth when SCP-1781 activates seem to experience no passage of time during the film. While the type of film shown can vary wildly, the single constant throughout all observed showings is the presence of Australian-British film actor Hugo Weaven in some role previously filled by another actor, actress, or prop. Often these inclusions are immediately recognizable while in others the role may be very small. Footnote 2. For example, during the screening of The King's Speech, it was initially thought that Hugo Weaven did not appear in the film. However, it was later observed that he had replaced a minor character in a large crowd shot. Notably, it has been verified that none of the films shown have ever cast Hugo Weaven in the roles he assumes during screenings of SCP-1781. Additionally, when he replaces a major character, or his presence is otherwise obvious, no characters in the film will take notice of him, regardless of the capacity he is in. His inclusion may, however, cause discrepancies in the film from the original version. Documents 1781-1 and 1781-2 Two notes can be found pinned to a small bulletin board within the projection booth. If removed, they will reappear the next time the booth becomes accessible after a screening. The note reads as follows. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. I ran the numbers and we get at least a 15% attendance booth where we show movies with this guy in it. Not only that, popcorn sales increased on average 22%. We've got to find a way to get him in every single goddamn film, I swear. Somebody needs to call one of those film students in Hollywood and get them on this. John. John. Alden got your letter, we can definitely work with that, can't wait to get started, you'll know when we're done. A and F. Observation Logs The following are records from observed screenings of SCP-1781. Personnel assigned to SCP-1781 are reminded to list the date, film title, role taken by Hugo Weaven, and any variation from the original production if applicable. Observation Log July 8, 2014 Film title, Bruce Almighty 2003 Role taken, God, previously assumed by Morgan Freeman. Variations, no major variation apart from the role change. Observation Log, July 10, 2014, film title X-Men 2000, role taken, Professor X's wheelchair. Variations, Hugo Weaven wearing a silver jumpsuit inscribed with a large X carries Patrick Stewart on his back as he crawls from place to place. During transit, Hugo Weaven is noticed making a soft, whirring sound. Notably, scenes containing significant movement on the part of Patrick Stewart's character takes considerably longer to play out. Observation Log, July 12, 2014, film title Hercules 1997, role taken the Hydra. Variations, during the battle with the Hydra, Hercules cleaves off Hugo Weaven's head. It is quickly replaced with an additional two, however the second head appears to be Hugo Weaven in red skull makeup from his role in Captain America the First Avenger. As Hercules takes off additional heads, more appear as resembling the different personas from different films Hugo Weaven has appeared in. During the final sequence where the Hydra consumes Hercules, Hugo Weaven, now considerably more unwieldy under the weight of several heads, is seen stumbling over the Hercules, attempting to eat him and being unable to do so, resorting to chewing aggressively on his head. This continues for approximately 20 seconds after which Hercules stabs Hugo Weaven in the stomach, killing him. Observation Log, July 14, 2014 Film title March of the Penguins 2005 Role taken, a penguin egg Variations. During a sequence depicting Antarctic penguins laying eggs, one penguin in particular looks to be in considerable distress. The narrator, voice of Morgan Freeman, comments on this, and the camera zooms in on the penguin. 
The penguin rocks back and forth before falling over and struggles on the ground for a short time. A large group of penguins then gather around the other penguin and the narrator comments about the cruel nature of life in the Antarctic. Finally, the penguin screeches, and a fully formed naked Hugo Weaven erupts from the bottom of the penguin. Hugo Weaven lays in the fetal position on the ice as the narrator wonders about why this footage was included in the film, citing its graphic nature. The film continues afterwards, although occasionally both Hugo Weaven and the now-deceased penguin can be seen in the distance.